On paper, shotguns are just another weapon. At a distance, they would appear to be just as important as a crossbow or sniper rifle. But once you fire one of these beautiful boomsticks, no matter what game it's in, you realize that no arsenal is complete without one. We graded them on numerous factors, historical relevance, gameplay efficiency, and that glorious kickback. We like shoddies that make our teeth chatter. The more barrels, the better. With thousands to choose from and the differences between them so subtle, we had to go with our gut to pick our top 10. The Metal Slug franchise likes to throw a lot at the player, and it can be beneficial to stay armed with a weapon that can cover long distances. But when you equip a shotgun, not only does the game triumphantly announce it, shotgun! anything in front of you simply disintegrates. It's a powerfully explosive weapon, and explosions are what Metal Slug does best. As the only 2D franchise on this list, it proudly represents the action platformer genre in the category of badass buckshot. In Halo, you normally have to worry about taking out a shield before killing something. Not so with the M90 shotgun. Almost anything in the game can be destroyed with one decisive blast from this silver beauty. The deep boom of the M90's barrel is one of the most empowering sounds in Halo. The M90 also turns you into a vicious predator during multiplayer matches. Lacking the range needed for carefully considered tactics, the M90 requires an efficient assassin that lives by the words, one shot, one kill. Noob's best friend, the auto shotgun, is a rite of passage for all beginning Counter-Strike players. Coming in at a cool price of $3,000, players eagerly save their funds to obtain this great equalizer against seasoned veterans. Throughout the long history of Counter-Strike, the weapon has been nerfed numerous times thanks to its incredible power and speed. While dual-wielding pistols and submachine guns like Inspector Tequila has its charm, they feel like cap guns compared to the room-clearing shotgun in the original Max Payne. Slow-motion bullet time enhances the effect with each fragment from the weapon's spread seeking to destroy a fresh target. Jumping down a flight of stairs, landing at an enemy's feet, and blasting him point-blank in the chest is an act that still stays with us after all these years. Shotguns typically require you to sacrifice a bit of speed and accuracy for a devastating amount of power. Fortunately, that's not how the Duke operates. His model features a second handle for easy pump action and an incredibly fast firing rate, blasting grunts before they even see him coming. The weapon fits the blistering pace of the Galactic Hero's better years perfectly, and just looking at the weapon reminds us of that brief time when Duke Nukem took no prisoners. With enough recoil to make even the mighty Sam struggle, the double barrel shotgun in Sirius Sam is strong enough to put down a charging Syrian wearable with one shot. The shooting speed is slow, with a reload animation similar to Doom 2, but the overwhelming power makes a direct hit all the more satisfying. The range is short, emphasizing close quarter combat, and thanks to its widespread, dispatching a horde of enemies while surrounded is a pleasure. The privilege of blowing zombies away with a custom shotgun in Resident Evil 2 goes to Leon S. Kennedy. Unavailable in Claire Redfield's scenario, this weapon enhancing upgrade is so powerful it sends Leon flying back on one foot with each colossal shot. Instead of blowing zombies' heads off like the Magnum or Standard Shotgun, the custom nearly severs them in half. In a city where ammunition is hard to come by, it's immensely satisfying to eliminate multiple zombies with one well-placed shell.
One of the earliest examples of enemy dismemberment, Soldier of Fortune empowers players to feel like surgeons, methodically blowing limbs off thanks to the sheer supremacy of the shotgun. With its thundering boom and quick reload, all other weapons quickly become obsolete. The level of destruction and gore is staggering, and trigger-happy players can dispatch thugs with systematic precision. With over 26 gore zones, the variety of death leaves you with only one question. How many limbs is my shotgun going to take from you? Introduced in Fear, the VK-12 embodies just about everything a good shotgun should be in gaming. Its powerful pump action gives the player a sense of power and raw brutality that tears through enemies, leaving a storm of blood and limbs in its wake, while also feeling light and mobile. The VK-12 is a must-use for all shotgun fans and warrants a playthrough of the game alone just to experience this gun in all its glory. Add its ferociousness to the game's slow-motion mechanic, and you have hours of blissful carnage at your fingertips. The first Doom has a damn fine shotgun, an excellent tool for exercising waves of screaming demons. But along with just about everything else, Doom 2 upped the caliber of its shell-spitting sidearm. The double-barrel shotgun from Doom 2 is not just an important shotgun in the history of video game shotguns, it is still sadistically satisfying, two decades after its initial release. The game doesn't offer the player the same movement options available in the modern FPS, so if you're heading down a rigid, shadowy, blood-painted corridor in the underworld, you better pack some serious firepower. Every sound effect beat from the reload click to the face-shattering blast perfectly represents why this weapon is so essential in every shooter. Yeah. 